Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Shake my head for today. Uh, can you believe it? I uh, That's a disappointing one. I felt like I did some decent work earlier this morning and absolutely put that work right, right in the trash. So we're going to talk about it. It's not a devastating day, but it's, it's a red day for sure. Down 345, 349 bucks. I'm just, I'm, I'm over it already. I, uh, I really, you know, after last week being, um, red, I just, you know, thought about things a little bit more and thought I need to come back into the new week, uh, a little bit more conservative and, um, just to come at it with a more calm mind and take better trades, less risk and just work at doing those base hits and just getting right back in the right direction so this morning i thought i i, I did a perfect job at that so let's break it down um i traded mainly vvos today and i i started well let me show my performance yeah here's a nice progression i wasn't taking any you know too much risk uh but i was just making pretty good trades all the way up until this point here um up to 214 bucks on the day and uh, you know i was kind of kind of set and i was thinking about just um finishing there and going on and uh leaving the market instead you know I hung around and got into trouble so i've got a i have to make some these these hard set rules where you know, make the money and walk away. I, I guess I get so greedy, so um, enamored with sitting around and trading the rest of the day because I know there's opportunities, but on in this scenario here, it just went against me. So let's talk about it here. I The first couple trades I had this morning were great. I was watching VVOS, market opens. I waited, I was patient. It didn't go, um, it did not break this high area of uh, 655. Instead, sold off a bit, came back up, and then sold off again. So I was waiting. Then around, uh, right about in this area here, started trading it a little bit further, knowing that, okay, we've got some resistance at 655. So I put in some good trades here. They weren't anything huge. But uh, perfect timing because I, I traded it once again for a little retest, um, made another good trade, and I was out at that point. And then they had the, there was this sell off, so I realized okay, this thing is kind of um, well, it's quick to move, quick to sell off. But either way, I I did good on those trades and I walked away unscathed. And then we had this area here where I was just being patient, wasn't trading it much. And I was still watching it, realizing, okay, if we come up and retest any areas, I want to be hopping the, for those. So in here, kind of anticipating a further uh, possible move to 650, I hopped in and got in that trade and boom, it rips up. And I actually sold right before, before the halt. So really good trade right there. And I was happy with it. After that, uh, you know, it pushed up some more after this halt, but then just came right back down. So uh, I thought I would pretty much be done with it for the day. It did go sideways here, found a base, um, had another big sell off. But these are big red flags that this this stock in general is wicked crazy. So you've got to be fast to take your profit. You've got to be very calculated and you've got to stay out of um you know the the risk of of some of these drastic areas where it can sell off so quick and so drastic so anyways i you know was doing great up 214 and you know didn't even trade the the rest of this area here now end of the day you can see this thing spikes up and goes right into a halt so i go whoa okay wait a minute Okay, we're looking at 625 now, where it just went into a halt, and that's that's definitely an area right in here where it was um, 
you know, I, I'd call could be either support or resistance at this point. Well, I, it would be going up into it, it'd be a point of resistance. So I was looking at that. But if we break past it, that could turn into support possibly. Anyways, it was resistance going into it, went into that halt. And so I had my eye very close on this one right after it um, opened up. And I was thinking to myself, okay, let me see if there's an opportunity to hop in for a couple quick scalp trades here. This might be a great opportunity to just add a little bit more cushion to the table here, or to the, uh, to the account. And so I went for a trade. And the thing was, as I was hopping in here, a uh, couple mistakes. First off, I saw it just rip to the high side, and I thought, to me, I was thinking, okay, huge strength, huge momentum. We had this huge move before. Now it's going for another one. I don't want to miss out on this. I want to make sure I'm in for it and I can capture some profit because if it's got that kind of a strength, I'm thinking it's going to seven to at least retest or get very close to seven, um, possibly past it, but definitely in that area of seven. And as I hop in, 683, it just completely flushes. And the, so the problems I had were I went in, I guess it was the heat of the moment. And all throughout this morning here, I kept it a little conservative. I told myself I want to go in with a little bit smaller share size. I want to put on some, some wins and then increase size. That was kind of the game plan there. And avoiding that risk is if I were to have a couple bad trades, it would be smaller share size, less risk. I wouldn't be hurting as bad. So anyways, did well with those trades, but I just, they weren't big share size, right? I think I was trading with a hundred. I was doing a hundred and 300 um, share size amounts in here. And as, so as we get into this area here, um, I hop in at 683. I think it was the heat of the moment. I punch uh, 600 shares, having some confidence in this, at least a little move higher to, you know, to, the plan was to hop in and sell quickly on the, on the push up and it just reverses. So long story short, I, uh, yeah, share size was too high and hindsight, looking back out of this, you know, hopping in towards the high you know pushing to this high there's way more um potential for for the downside and i guess i just wasn't calculating that it, and, and the thing is you know with, with these kinds of trades like i said i try to get in and out very quickly and so to try to calculate and really think and think about risk and reward ratios when you're hopping into a move that's going extremely quick. It's tough to really analyze that like fully and go, uh, is this is this right for risk? Where's where's my area of stopping out? Where's my area of taking profits? Like by the time you've already you know um, try to think about all those things, you've already probably missed the move and so anyways i've heat of the moment for me i hopped in the share size was just too big uh risk was too high and yeah hindsight looking at this uh yeah that you know kind of chasing the move if you will but i definitely thought it was you know such a kind of weird spot in there 683 686 to uh to you know tap out at for the high and the thing was i mean i could imagine tapping that area having a having just a little bit of a pullback and then going for another run but this stock was just so volatile and you know i should have should have thought about that a little bit more but like i said it was so quick and uh like right in here two big red flags these huge red sell-offs even the third one there but yeah I, that's that's how it went and i went from 214 up to 14 down to what um 300 something negative 300 something so i i tried a couple of other quick scalp trades but it was just desperation at that point and uh 
Didn't really do much there. And yeah, so I'm annoyed and pissed at myself because I really thought today was like going to be that that day of like changing changing the direction of my um my trading from the last from the last week. You know, last week's so horrible. I just I told myself I've got to, you know, put on the small base hits, get in the right direction, be happy with it, walk away and keep doing that. I need to get back in that direction. And I had it. I had it in the bag and I just you know, I a uh, couple different things. I didn't I didn't shut down the computer. I didn't walk away from it. Um so I didn't wrap it up early. And the other piece to it is uh just not analyzing this risk reward situation here well enough and taking too much um share size right in here thinking i could we could get the push to at least seven uh so yeah got screwed on that one and I, you know i did i did it to myself but rough day that's how it goes so i want to hear from you guys let me know if your day turned out like mine or maybe you, you know, abided by all your rules and you had an excellent day today and you traded really well. Let me know either way. Love hearing from you guys. But, you know, just looking at this star, this stock and this ugly chart. That's an ugly, ugly chart. We had news on the, on the stock. We had a catalyst. And I don't know. I thought I had more potential. I was wrong. And I just didn't stick to my rules and I just I didn't analyze this qu um, quick enough so that was my big mistake today right in this area um, I think I did I might have tried to get get in at this point but by the time I I saw this it was already too late it would it already went into a halt so I don't even think there was a chance to to try to um, get in sometimes when they like right before they go into that halt they kind of freeze but you can sometimes throw in an order that's just sometimes get fill gets filled but uh that wasn't the case so yeah i really uh screwed up on this one that pretty much wraps up my trading for today uh i I've, i have to i have to turn my direction here very soon or else i gotta i gotta stop for a while because this is, it's just not good. This is, I've been on a red streak. And uh, it's its not good. I've been trying to minimize, minimize some of that risk with the smaller share size. But as I told you, that adding, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'd be down if I was trading with that sh same share size as I was earlier this morning. I'd be down less for sure. But I most likely would still be red because I was just a, such a drastic sell-off so i don't know um anyways that's it for today take care and let me hear from you in the comments when i find out how you guys did take care